video. In this video, we're going to look at a lead code challenge and the problem's name is count the number of vowel strings in range. So in this question, we're given a zero index array called words. So this is the words array which will contain the word and two integers left and right which will give us the range. So these are the two integers left and right given in the function definition. So the definition of vowel strings is that if a string starts with a vowel character and ends with a vowel character then it is a vowel string. So our task is to return the number of vowel strings between the range left and right both inclusive. So in this question we are given a words array which consists of three words left is zero and right is two. So this is zero one and 2. So basically the entire array we have to check. In the second example there are 5 words and left is 1 and right is 4. We need to start our search from 1 until 4. We don't have to check for the first word. So these are basically the ranges inside the for loop. So this is a fairly easy problem. We can directly code it up and later I'll show you a dry run for one of the examples. So this is the function given to us vowel strings. We need to return an integer that is the number of vowel strings. We are given the input array and the two ranges left and right. So first we need to declare a result variable. I'm going to name it count. Now let's use a for loop to iterate through the words array starting from left until right. So for i is starting from left, it will iterate until i is equal to right because we also have to check for the last word because right is also inclusive inside the range. So we have to place equal to here. Now let's check for each word inside the words array. So if let's write a helper function check vowel and pass the string at the ith index position inside the words array. So words of i. So it will check for each word in one iteration it will check for one word. So it is a vowel string. We have to increment count. And this will happen for all the words inside the words array. And finally, we can return the variable count. Now we have to write the function check vowel. So let's create a helper function. This will be a boolean function which will return true or false. Name of the function is check vowel. And pass a string str on which we will check if it is a vowel string or not. According to the definition, a vowel string starts with a vowel character. So if these are the words, we have to check if the first character is a vowel. So the first character is going to be at the zeroth index position of that word, right? So that is a fixed position for the first starting character. So if str.char at of zero, so that is the first character inside the string. If it is a vowel, so we have to check for all the five vowels. The first vowel is A. It is mentioned that the word consists of only lowercase letters. So you can check for only lowercase vowels. So let's repeat this check for all the vowels. So paste it four more times. Now we have to check for E, I, O and U. So if the first character is a vowel, only then it will enter the second check. The second check is that it should end with a vowel. So it means that the last character should also be a vowel. So let's copy this if statement and paste it one more time inside the if statement. So nested if statement. And now we have to check for the last character if it is a vowel. To access the last character, we can find out the length of the string and subtract minus one from it to get the last character. So we can do str dot length minus one. Replace this for the rest of the character. So only when these two conditions satisfy, that means the first character is a vowel and the last character is a vowel, then we can return true. Because the return type is boolean, so we can return true. It means that that string is a vowel string. So now I have closed one if block, close the second if block. And finally here, if these conditions fail and it does not return true, it means that it is not a vowel string. So you can return false here. Now this function will return true or false if according to the conditions mentioned. And here it will pass a boolean value true or false. If it is true, it will increment count. And finally, for, it will check for all the words inside the range and return the count. Now let's run the code. Our test cases are successfully passed. Let's submit the code. There you have it. A solution is accepted. Now let's take an example and do a dry run. Let's take the example one. So in this, we are given a words array consisting of three words and the range is zero to two. So this is zero, one and two. So we are starting from zero until, so right is two, zero until two with 
equal to sign so each time we are accessing one word at a time go from 0 until 2 so this will iterate for three times and the fourth time it will break and return the output so let's check for first word the first word is a r e the second word is a m y and the third word is u so these are the words present inside the words array now we have to check if the character at zeroth position so the character at zero 0, 1 and 2, 0, 1 and 2 and 0. So if it is A, yes it is A. So it will come inside and check for the second condition. The second condition is here. It will check if the character at last index. Last index is str dot length. So length of this word is 3, right? So 3 minus 1 is 2. So it will check for this character. If it is A, no it is not A. It is E, yes it is E. So it will pass this and come inside and return true. So this will return true. So inside the if block here, this will be replaced by true. If true, increment the count. Count is initially 0. So it will be incremented to 1. Now we go for the next word. Now i is equal to 1. So words of 1 is this. Now let's check for Amy. The first character is a so this will pass and go inside and now it will check for the last character last character is y so it is not a vowel so this won't go inside and it won't return true so it will come out and it will return false so this will return false and now inside the if block this will be replaced by false so if false it won't go inside and it will go for the next iteration now i is equal to 2 so this will be the last iteration so words of 2 is u, so it will check for this word. Now character at 0 is a, character at 0 is this. It is checking if it is a, no, it is not e, it is not i, it is not o, it is u. So it will go inside and check for this condition. Now it will check if the character at the last index, length of this word is 1, right? 1 minus 1 is 0, so it will check for the same index position, 0 again. So if it is a, if it is e, no, not i, not o yes it is u so it will go inside and this true will be returned so this will return true and inside the now we are calling this function and inside the if statement this will be replaced by true and count will be incremented it was one it will become two and now it will go up for the next iteration now i equal to three three is less than or equal to two no this will fail so it will come out of the for loop and it will return count. Count is now having the value 2. So count will be returned as 2 and 2 will be the output for this question. The time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.